Hello everyone. Welcome to Bimmoler. This is Raj. So in this video tutorial, uh, we are going to learn about how to link AutoCAD file into Revit in a different flow plan based on uh, the our requirement. So before linking, we have to understand what are the difference between the linking and importing the AutoCAD file into Revit. So how to clean the AutoCAD file? and how to link them back, how to control their layers in Revit. These are the options that we are going to discuss. First thing is that comparison. Linking AutoCAD. The, if you are doing a link in AutoCAD uh, to the Revit, you will have a live link between them. So you don't have any disconnection. So if you do any update to the AutoCAD file, automatically it will be reflected in Revit. But if you do import, it will be an instance copy of that file into Revit. So it will not be any live link between the elements. So if you are doing any update to the AutoCAD file, you will not get reflected in the in the file, in Revit file. Revit size will be less if you are linking. If you are importing, the Revit file size will become more because all the elements of AutoCAD will become Revit element, so the file size will be more. If you are linking, it will be easy to manage. For example, if you don't want it, those elements, you can simply unlink or remove them from the project, Revit project. It will be easy for us. Or if you want to, do, or if you are doing that as an import, it is very hard to delete them one by one each view. It will be very hard to manage that. For example, where do we use the linking? We can be used to overlaying the flow plans. If you want to uh, copy the uh, AutoCAD designs to Revit, you can overlay them and you can update them wherever you need. But where do we use import? If you are creating a Revit family, you can use the import. If you are using the uh, one to create a detail view or drafting view in Revit, you can use the AutoCAD file and import them. But do remember, you are importing, you can export them and it will become Revit element. It will increase the file size. It will automatically create the different types of text and different types of lines, styles. So it will dramatically create in numerous number of types. So do remember that uh, difficulties and use that wisely that what you want to use it. I personally recommend you to link the file whenever you are using overlaying the AutoCAD design files, not to import. With that, how to clean the AutoCAD file? So, if you have AutoCAD file design files, you have to open them in AutoCAD and you have to hide unnecessary layers or delete the unnecessary layers that you have in AutoCAD. And for example, uh, we need the grid layers compulsory. We may not need the cable tray layers. For example, in this case, we have uh, cable trays. I assume this is cable tray. HVAC duct coming down, this will be HVAC cable tray. So we can delete these elements in AutoCAD itself and then we can take it back to Revit. Once if these elements are deleted, we can only keep the necessary elements. For example, we don't need these text, unnecessary text deleted. And we'll be able to use the purge command PU and enter and purge all the unnecessary elements, purge all, close. This way, the Revit file will be uh, cleaned more and it will not take the unnecessary elements to the Revit. And make sure that once it is done, make sure W block if, if, you, don't, if you don't have any unnecessary elements. If you want to create a portion of a building, for example, uh, we don't need uh, all the buildings, so we can select simply the portion of the building like this and use the W block, W block, and you can use this center point and create them into the desktop. For me, example purpose, I'm creating in the desktop. Part B of HVAC level one. This way, only the portion of the building will be created and you will be taking only the necessary elements to the 
Revit project. The remaining portions will be linked by the other team member and they will be start working on the remaining portion. So take only the necessary element to Revit, delete the unnecessary element and purge them if it is required and do W block only the select portion of the elements and take them to the Revit. Don't take all the elements to Revit. Let's go to the Revit. Open the previous exercise which, which is we have created in one floor plan, spaces and zones. Open that file. You can see that we have created this space to understand the space and their areas. We have created a legend also. We don't need the legend. You can simply uncheck them because for our understanding we need to have only the normal plan option. So we can remove them by using this option. You can delete this legend if you don't need it and save this project. Now we have to uh, understand that what are the uh, option that we have the to link. As we discussed in the earlier chapter, all the things that whenever you want to uh, import uh, external elements from the AutoCAD or PDF or image, you have an insert tab. Under the insert tab, you have the option to link Revit IFC and CAD file. You can link them by clicking this button and the link window will appear. I have given in the exercise file, you can uh, see uh, in, in your folder, you can able to download from uh, our website. These AutoCAD plans which are exported from the uh, design complete uh, file. We are in the one mechanical floor plan. So we have to insert a mechanical HVAC layout for the first floor. So this will be our first floor level one and HVAC plan. You can link them to Revit floor plan. I personally uh, recommend this to auto center to center so that it will be placed in this place since we don't have any origin uh, related origin between the architecture and file and between the DWG file and Revit file. So we can use the center to center method. So it will not go to any far from this place. Colors, I like to keep it the same colors from the AutoCAD. So I don't want to change them into a black and white or grayscale. I will be importing all the layers to this, uh, uh, all the layers to the uh, whatever visible or un not visible. I want to import all of them here. Import units, it will be automatically detected and it will be corrected based on the scale. It will be based on the AutoCAD file scale value which is mentioned in the units i will be placing in level one oriented to view i'm clicking open this option so it will be automatically placed center to center center it will be calculated based on this boundary this blue color automatically it will be placed in the center you can use the align command or move command and you can uh, place them along the uh, grid values that we have seeing it it may be a one click or two clicks make sure that you are aligning it properly align and on the other side with this grid make sure it is aligned properly so because we have deleted one grid earlier session so I just wanted to align it with uh, D with D grid now if you see that it is, I, I believe it is aligned properly. Let's check in the other view, 1.1 with 1.1. Some grids are moved uh, because we have moved it intentionally uh, to check the uh, coordination review, not a problem. So we can keep this as similar like this. Uh, you have to control this uh, Revit DWG file once it is linked. So what are the elements that you wanted to model? For example, in this view, we wanted to model only the ductworks. We don't need any pipeworks or cable trays. We can control them by using selecting this option. And you have this option to query or delete. So this linked objects will be uh, managed under the manage, manage link or insert under the link manage link both are same options 
and we are we have the architectural file linked and we have cat file one file linked if you don't need them you can simply unload them and select ok you will not be able to see them if you need particular cat file you can come back here and say reload and if you need to permanently remove them you can remove them using this option select ok it will be appear in the view the reason why i'm giving you this option if sometime the file is missing or if you are getting my file you have to reload this file if the file is missed you have to use this option reload from you have to find the folder particular folder and click open so that it will be loaded again if it is missing not loaded or could not find the files use the reload from option and if you want to control the visibility or visibility of this element you can go to the visibility graphics override edit you will be seeing this imported category after your uh, file linking for linking and importing both same here in this place you have to go this and you have one file you will be able to open this you can control the layers these all are coming from the autocad layers you can turn it on and turn it off whatever the layers that you need and don't need it it will be very difficult to uh, understand what layers we are hiding so simply close this as i mentioned earlier you can select this dwg file make sure that you untick this option so that you will be able to select and use this query option the query will ask you to select some elements in dwg it will not select any revit elements it will ask you to select the dwg file so if for example if i select this duct line blue color line it will tell us what is the type it is a line block it is not a block layer it is autocad layer is uh, mhvac duct and like this there are some other properties what do you want to do you can hide this element only in this view or delete this element this entire layer from this autocad file what do you want to do i need this layer so i will simply click okay i'll go to this particular elements say for example this line which is cable tray i don't want to see them in this view so hide in view similar way I'll click this one it is a cable tray center line i don't need them and this line it will be pipeline i don't need them in this view i will do it as faster whatever the lines that i don't need it that's it i think so the remaining lines that you see which is uh, ductwork lines return lines and supply lines hvac duct we need them and everything is, looks fine so for me so the colors and everything is good so i can simply escape from the command multiple times i can go back to the visibility graphics again go to category if you wanted to turn on those hidden layers you can scroll down and see that cable tray and cable tray center lines are unticked and the pipe also if you want to hide the architectural layers you can hide them from here or if you want to change the color of uh, ductworks which is possible by using this uh, duct options which is coming from this layers by clicking these lines you can change their patterns you can change their colors like this settings are available managing settings are available in this place with this uh, this tutorial is completing for you it is exercise will be take the same file and uh, architectural file uh, revit mep project file link architectural uh, and mep files into this project file all the floors so for example we have the one mechanical we have done two mechanical three mechanical and if you need to do lighting you can place them on the lighting also for our next practice so do your practice well and start with the next tutorial for the next learning
thank you so much for watching and see you on the next tutorial do share it with your learning friends